Good morning guys, it is day two of our camping trip. We are just packing up now and we are going to be heading down to Hogan Lake. Uh, so I will show you guys what it looks like on the map in just a moment. But we're going to get packed up and on our way. You're intense! Bear spray. No bears left. <laughs> so yesterday we started all the way up here at that little point there and we made it through the falls, the falls and we are currently at that little campsite right there and today we're going to be trekking through this big long portage paddling through here down through here another big portage and into Hogan's Lake uh, and we've actually been uh, here before in the past so we're going to try to make it to that campsite and so, as you can see, first day up here, and second day, <laughs> it's going to be a little bit more adventurous. Beautiful. All right. So, first portage of the day. We're all geared up and feeling good. Looking forward to the day. And some shaky camera work from Julia. So, a little switch up. Probably about a third of the way through the portage. It's a 2.3 kilometer and it's got a lot of uphill. Woo! Good job. We did it! We did it! Short little paddle to the next portage. So this is even more impressive just because I hadn't realized how heavy this damn canoe is. It's a lot heavier than the ones we're used to. And yet, Chris does it with style. <laughs> so we are headed towards the island that is uh, just off to the right up ahead because apparently looking at the map there is what's called an alligator and the alligator was used to drag logs across land and water 
So I think we see it. It's just up ahead. It's this giant piece of metal. Oh my gosh, it's huge. It's got that like steam pump feel, right? In the water. So yeah, if you want to see things like this in Algonquin Park, we highly recommend getting what's called Jeff's map. And Jeff has sort of aggregated all sorts of additional knowledge and features onto the map. Oh, see you later, alligator. <laughs> and so now we are headed over to that island where there is a campsite. We're going to stop and have a little bit of lunch and then carry on after that. There are actually a lot of island campsites in Algonquin Park. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at this view. Wow, this is a nice campsite. This is a nice campsite. So today for lunch we have hummus and pita. A few carrots. We made it into Manta Lake and we did a 1.1 kilometer portage followed by a 750 meter portage and that's where we are now. We've been making pretty good progress but it's kind of rainy today and uh, we went through quite a marshy bit so we've had a truck and uh, couldn't do too much filming but it's kind of beautiful. It's, uh, it's quite steamy and everything. We just have one more portage to go. This one is a 1.8 kilometer portage. Woo. The distance that we traveled yesterday and today, when you try to register your campsites for those particular lakes on the website, you get a warning that pops up that tells you that you're going too far per day. Um, so what that means is they think you're ridiculous in how much ground they think you can cover. And so on our first day, we didn't get as far as we'd hoped, which meant today was even crazier. So it's turning out to be an epic day uh, between the rain and the long portages, but we're getting there. We are slowly but surely getting there. I have to mention that we are pretty experienced campers in the sense that we've crossed the entire park from west to east um, over 10 days. Uh, and even then you're covering a lot of distance and you really sort of have to keep up and drive at a certain pace in order to cover the distances that you need to. Good job. That's a steep step. Yeah, a little bit darker than we'd like to be uh, hiking through, but this is going to put us into Hogan, uh, which is a really big, beautiful lake. as I have left for today. So looking forward to getting to our campsite. We are paddling in pretty much complete darkness. Finally we arrived. Made it. We made it. Not with a moment not a moment too soon. Yeah. Oh wow, so good to finally be here. Little camp stove is gone. 
so the pad thais come with their own little peanut butter and serving of peanuts. You put both inside, then you add boiling water and let it sit for about 13 minutes. And voila, you have delicious pad thai. Little thunder and lightning, but we've got our pad thai, our nice warm. Bruce Pepperette. It is definitely the hot one, or as I like to say, picante flavored. <laughs>